Australia, the land down under, an ancient place steeped with an indescribable beauty, capsulated in one of the most diverse and complex ecosystems on Earth. Well, as many of us know, not only is the Australian continent a truly beautiful place, it's also one of the deadliest. Seemingly, no matter where you turn, there's some form of gigantic razor-toothed predator or tiny toxic insect waiting to ruin your day. From the largest and deadliest reptiles on the planet, insanely venomous arachnids, and even drop bears. Here's the 15 most dangerous animals in Australia. Time to commit. Oh. Ah. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Pythons, ah, snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? Well, what better way to begin this terrifying list than by turning our attention towards Australia's most populous and deadly serpents on the continent, pythons. You see, while Australia is renowned for its whole host of ravenous animals waiting to take a chunk out of you, as well as its awe-inspiring marsupials, parrots and plants, it doesn't always get the global credit it deserves for its sheer amount of terrifying pythons. Australia has close to half the world's entire variety of pythons, being home to 14 or 31 known species. Seemingly, Australia has been the secret paradise for pythons, ranging from carpet, scrub, diamond, and even reticulated pythons. The list of snakes goes on and on. As you may imagine, with such an incredible abundance of terrifying pythons, it seems that there's been more than a fair share of deadly python attacks in recent years. Take for example an incident that occurred back in 2019 when a small four-year-old boy was attacked by a 16-foot scrub python and dragged into a bush. Terrifyingly, although the scrub python is non-venomous, Australia's largest snake had latched itself onto the child's leg before retreating back into the undergrowth with him. In the most Australian turn of events, the boy's father quickly punched the snake square in the head, and the boy survived. Incident happens to anybody, it's just call a snake catcher, don't take matters into your own hands. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Box jellyfish. All right, you've certainly been expecting this one. Because the truth is, the terrifying box jellyfish is probably one of the most feared creatures in the ocean. And yeah, we're including the entire range of terrifying animals that call Australia their home. The truth is, most people are aware of the clear and present dangers that these marine animals possess. Given the fact that health and safety guidelines have been strictly enforced around the waters that these jellyfish often frequent, which has become an essential health and safety practice for any Australian beachgoer. However, considering the fact that they're also found pretty much everywhere throughout the Pacific and Indian Oceans, ranging from not just Australia, but Thailand and many other Southeast Asian inland chains, the chances are pretty high for people who live in the Southern Hemisphere. The infamous box jellyfish developed its frighteningly powerful venom to instantly stun or kill its prey, like fish and shrimp, so that their struggle to escape wouldn't damage its delicate tentacles. Their venom alone is considered to be among the most deadly in the world, and its toxins attack the heart, the nervous system, and skin cells simultaneously. The box jellyfish's venom is so overwhelmingly painful that human victims have been known to go into shock and die of heart failure before reaching the shore. Even in Australia, the box jellyfish is the real deal, and we should be cautious in those waters. Mm -hmm. Bull shark. You may be thinking, hold on a moment, surely Australia has enough to deal with deadly venomous tarantulas, toxic jellyfish, and an entire army of sharks? Well, we hate to be the bearer of bad news, but in the past few decades, these giant predatory fish are becoming all too common among the beautiful, picturesque coastlines of Australia. Incredibly, the bull shark is a unique creature that thrives in both salt water and fresh water, making it one of the only sharks known to science that can actually live in fresh water, the other being the incredibly rare river shark. Amazingly, bull sharks have been known for their colossal journeys throughout the oceans and have recently become renowned for migrating thousands of miles to toward incredibly specific locations along the Australian coast. It's believed that this extraordinary behavior is down to the fact that the bull shark gives birth to live young, and recently, the increasingly warm waters of the Australian coast have attracted a huge boom in these creatures. Terrifyingly, it's resulted in a massive increase in attacks on humans, several of which have tragically been fatal. 
If you need a hair-raising example of just how dangerous these creatures can be, then take a look at this footage, captured by an Australian teenager while he was spearfishing off the coast of northern Queensland. Astonishingly, he managed to kick the 11-foot bull shark square in the head in order to escape his ordeal of terror. Still, yikes. <laughs> Saltwater Croc It is an undeniable fact that we couldn't have made this list without highlighting the most terrifying creature in Australia, one that has become so iconic that entire careers have been made on the backs of wrestling these reptilian monsters. Of course, it's the Saltwater Crocodile. By sheer numbers alone, the crocodile has increasingly racked up more and more terrifying attacks every year. And although they're not as common as shark attacks in Australia, the real fear here comes from the sheer size of these overall beasts. Did you know that a saltwater crocodile's jaw is capable of crushing its victim with over 3,700 pounds per square inch of force? That raw, unbridled power is more than three and a half times than the bite of a fully grown lion. What the heck? In the southern hemisphere, particularly the coastal regions of Australia, its ferocity has increasingly become more and more prominent, particularly in the swampy regions, where saltwater crocodile attacks average around 10 per year. The thing is, the saltwater crocodile fears no other creature, and that includes humans. These prehistoric reptiles feast on their prey by stalking in the shallows, and once they latch onto them, the results are almost always fatal. Since the dawn of human civilization, these ancient reptiles have earned their place as the most deadly creature on both land and sea, and rightfully so. They remain to be the most iconic and most terrifying reptile in Australia. Stonefish. All right, if there wasn't enough to worry about in Australia, when you're wading through shallow shores and rock pools, if there's a reason that you should wear protective reef shoes, then this monstrosity of a fish is definitely that. Seriously, if you were ever unfortunate enough to tread on this venomous landmine, the odds of survival are pretty darn slim, and because of that, the stonefish is considered to be one of the most deadly animals in the ocean by many marine enthusiasts. The thing is, in the ocean, these creatures aren't exactly a clear and present danger because it's on the coastline where they exclusively assault their prey. Terrifyingly, the venom that is produced by the stonefish is some of the most potent venom on the planet and is especially fatal to humans. For complete recovery, a sufficient amount of anti-venom is required to quickly reverse the effects. But sadly, without the correct medical facilities, the stonefish is often a death sentence. The venom begins with excruciating pain and swelling, and the symptoms then rapidly develop into paralysis, tissue necrosis, and even complete heart failure. Given the fact that the stonefish is encrusted in brown or gray skin with orange and red patches, it has the capability to camouflage itself almost perfectly into the surrounding environment when it strikes before being noticed. Thankfully for the rest of us, stonefish are almost exclusively found in Australia, which is just another addition to the continent's never-ending list of deadly animals that can kill you. <laughs> Redback Spider Alright, we haven't yet featured an Australian spider on today's list, and so what better way to begin that with this, the terrifying redback. Similar to the widow spiders found worldwide, the redback spider has garnered a notorious reputation for its devastating combination of potent venom and their unique preference for living in the close proximity of humans. Redbacks are immediately recognizable by the prominent long red stripe on their back, and as is common with many arachnid species, the female is often twice as large as the male member. One terrifyingly unique feature of these arachnids are their mating habits, which results in a form of cannibalism where the male is eaten in the process. What the heck? Found throughout pretty much every corner of Australia, the redback spider will thrive everywhere with an adequate food supply, shelter, and warm enough climate for breeding. If these three specifics are met, then you're almost certain to find a redback spider comfortably hidden. Yikes! <laughs> Cone Shell Sea Snail Okay, considering that we've had ravenous sharks, gigantic crocs, and deadly jellyfish, you may not have expected a simple snail to have crawled their way onto this list, slimy trail included. 
Believe it or not, don't let that fool you because the cone shell sea snail is often one of the most venomous found ocean creatures on earth. Amazingly, the cone shell sea snail doesn't produce toxin or venom, but instead it utilizes a potent form of insulin to subdue its prey. Also known as the geographic cone snail, this deadly creature uses the chemical to cause a plunge in its victim's blood sugar levels, leaving it sluggish and unable to escape. Although it may not look like it, this snail can actually entrap whole schools of small fish in the same way. Despite its appearance, Meet the cone snail, the world's most venomous snail, found right throughout the coral reef regions of the world. It's one of the most venomous creatures on Earth, and it's been known to have killed dozens of people in accidental encounters. It hunts two ways, by either releasing toxins into the water and by firing a terrifying harpoon-like poison-tipped tooth into its prey. If that wasn't horrifying enough, no antidote currently exists for the cone snail's sting, and a single bite is almost always fatal to humans. Australia, even the snails are killers. Blue ringed octopus. All right, all right, don't let the sea snail fool you because you've probably seen the seemingly cute and squidgy little fella before, right? So meet the blue ringed octopus. It's a little tiny octopus, probably about as big as my thumb. Well, while on the surface, this guy looks like something straight from a Pixar movie, this is Australia we're talking about. And you'd be astonished to believe that, pound for pound, the blue ringed octopus is actually one of the most venomous creatures on Earth. Despite being tiny, this cephalopod packs a lethal sting. And if you're ever unfortunate enough to encounter one to ensure your survival, keeping this little guy calm and relaxed is of the utmost importance. Characterized by its namesake, the blue and black rings of this cephalopod only ever appear when the creature feels threatened. Seemingly harmless on the surface, the blue ringed octopus possesses a highly venomous neurotoxin that it secretes through its salivary glands when facing down a potential predator, humans included. This toxin is over a thousand times more deadly than cyanide, and just one tiny blue ringed octopus contains enough poisonous liquid to mean certain death for up to 26 people. If that's not reason to avoid this creature already, many unassuming scuba divers may not even realize that they've been stung by this tiny cephalopod before the crippling paralysis sets in. Astonishingly, back in 2018, an Australian fisherman was stung by this deadly jelly when he pulled up a crayfish pot, and after only having six minutes to live, he miraculously survived after receiving immediate medical attention. Whew. <laughs> Inland Taipan. Sure, pythons are terrifying, but without a doubt, the most deadly snake in Australia is the iconic Inland Taipan. While this creature is relatively unknown by the rest of the world, any Australian knows that facing down this snake is usually a surefire way to ruin your day. While they may not look like monsters compared to the gigantic pythons, this snake has uniquely developed itself as being a mammal specialist, positioning itself as a lethal predator to pretty much any and every mammal in Australia. And yeah, that includes humans as well. One reason that the Inland Taipan is so deadly is down to its unique venom, an extremely potent combination that blends two types of toxic components that affect the body almost instantly. In a deadly combination of neurotoxins and hemotoxins, it attacks the human body on multiple levels, resulting in slurred speech, seizures, and complete body failure. Yikes. Great White Shark Yep, we can't talk about dangerous and deadly animals in Australia without referring to the most iconic ocean predator on Earth, the Great White Shark. Although bull shark and tiger shark attacks are actually more common, it seems that the Great White Shark attacks of Australia are the most horrifying. Most recently, an Australian surfer tragically lost his life after being attacked by a Great White Shark at a popular surfing spot in Queensland. The 46-year-old man was bitten on his leg while surfing at Greenmount Beach in Coolangatta and tragically succumbed to his wounds shortly afterwards. Although pretty much every surfing location in Australia is protected by shark nets, it seems that the predator somehow managed to break through. Increasingly, fatal shark attacks in Australia are steadily increasing, and this has been the sixth fatal attack this year. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a big shot. Ira Kanji. Sure, we have technically already featured the box jellyfish, but believe it or not, that squishy deep sea killer gets far worse than any of us could have ever expected. If one box jellyfish wasn't already terrifying enough, there are about 16 known species of this marine enigma, wider known as the Irukanji jellyfish. And now the tricky bit, it 
poos at the end of its tentacle. The thing is, compared to the regular box jelly, these things are tiny and they're incredibly difficult to spot in the wild. Also, recent studies have discovered evidence of these things actively hunting their prey in the wild. With an average size of around a third of an inch, they're both the smallest and one of the most venomous jellyfish in the world. Their name derives from the Irukandji people, whose native land stretches across the northern coast of Queensland. Awesome. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Tiger shark. Sure, you may have already had the bull shark and the iconic great white shark too, but if that wasn't enough, Australia has dozens more of these terrifying marine predators waiting in the wings. For the tiger shark, it's no exception when it comes to being the sleek, solitary predator that we expect. And in countless coastal waters of Australia, as well as in many areas of the Pacific Ocean, the tiger shark is unrivaled. Belonging to a subspecies of the appropriately named requiem sharks, the tiger shark specializes in roaming wildly tropical and temperate waters, thriving in the heat of the Pacific, and most often hunting for its prey during the cover of night, which has made it so deadly when attacking off the Australian coast. What makes the tiger shark so dangerous, though, is that unlike some of its more fussy shark cousins, these guys aren't particularly picky about what they feast on on the remote isolation of the Pacific. Dolphins, sea turtles, even floating garbage, nothing is off the menu when it comes to the tiger shark feasting on its prey. Although there have only been 26 human fatalities fatalities reported worldwide, there have been hundreds of recorded tiger shark attacks, which has seen an increase with the warming oceans. When they're hungry, there's no stopping the tiger sharks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cassowary. All right, while you may not have expected this entry, believe it or not, this bizarre bird can be a deadly foe. You see, what looks like an oversized turkey is actually more akin to its dinosaur ancestors than any other bird on earth. Meet the cassowary, an otherwise unassuming creature that is so hostile to humans, it's considered by many to be the most dangerous bird on earth, particularly in Australia and New Zealand. This bird is indeed a strange animal, and if provoked, they're capable of inflicting very serious injuries, which in some cases, historically, have proven to be fatal. Native to the tropical forests of Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, East Nusa Tenggara, the Maluku Islands, and northeastern Australia. The cassowary is the third tallest and the second heaviest living bird, smaller only than the ostrich and the emu. However, unlike their otherwise docile cousins, the cassowary seems to possess an innate ferocity when it comes to defending its territory. The first documented human death occurred way back in 1926, down in Australia, when a 16-year-old boy tried to kill one of these birds that had roamed onto its property. After falling to the ground, the bird kicked him in the neck, fatally severing his jugular vein. Desperate call to 911. It was a vicious physical attack, not from a human being, but from a bird. It appears that this terrifying looking avian is much closer to the hunting ways of the raptor than many other birds of prey, and that's scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Tiger snake. Tiger shark? How about a tiger snake? Yeah, Australia, it's the most terrifying gift that just keeps giving. Native to southern Australia and Tasmania. So on some islands, these guys max out at only one meter long. Along the eastern part of Australia, they the tiger snake is considered to be one of the most venomous snakes on the planet, killing its victims with a potent mixture of neurotoxins, coagulants, hemolysins, and mycotoxins. In scientific lingo, that's pretty much all the bad stuff that you can imagine rolled up into one deadly cocktail. Incredibly, because of the eco-diversity in the wild, the tiger snake varies greatly in size depending on the preferred type of prey, with smaller snakes favoring hunting mosquitoes and the larger ones favoring mammals. Yeah, we'd imagine that the human hunting tiger snake would be pretty darn huge. So, no thanks. Funnel web spider. And finally, what better way to end our whistle stop tour of the most beautiful and terrifying place of the planet than with the iconic funnel web spider? Across the Australian continent, there are over 40 species of funnel web spider, each of them with their own unique and terrifying display of predatory tactics. While not all of them are dangerous to humans, the vast majority of them very much are, and have been notoriously known for their deadly combination of highly toxic and fast acting venom. As their name suggests, funnel web web spiders bury themselves in a funnel-shaped web up to 30 inches deep, designed to allow their prey to curiously fall in where the deadly funnel web will be waiting to strike. Yeah, humans, don't go putting your hands in these things, and you'll be just fine, hopefully. Well, there we have it, the 15 most dangerous animals in Australia. What'd you guys think? Be sure to let us know your thoughts down in the comments section below. 
As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end, 